to add an image um, as a counter on your case, so to show students how far through the case they are. Um, it can seem a little bit convoluted, so, uh, so stick with me on this one because it does look good afterwards. So what you need to actually do first is um, create your counters. Um, so here's an example of uh, three that I've made. Um, there are actually five parts to this counter at 20, 40, 60, 80, 100 percent, etc. But I'm just using these three as a demonstration. So my best um, advice on how to create these would either be to uh, make them yourself on Word and then um, screenshot crop it down and upload it as a picture or if you're quite handy on things like paint um, you can obviously draw them yourself and then um, upload them so um, for information on how to upload an image um, you can watch that video or uh, basically on the left hand side go to files add files, upload your image, start upload. And then it's given me these three um, embeddable codes. However, we don't use those for counters. So once you've uploaded uh, the image that you want, to represent your counters. So obviously this one's going to represent 20% uh, of the way through the case, 60% of the way th through the case and 100% of the way through. I then need to assign these photos to a counter. So I need to go on to counters. I've already got my cost to the client so far counter and I'm going to create a counter and this counter is going to be 20% uh, because I'm 20% 20 through, 20 through the case. Then it says counter image. I need to click on that and choose my 20% one, which I helpfully labeled 20% and I click submit. Next, I'm going to make one for 60%. And finally, 100%. Next, I need to allocate where I actually want these counters to appear. So I need to go onto the grid. Oh, this isn't as helpful as I wanted. Click on counter grid on this side. And what it has done is it's listed all of the available um, counters that I have. So I've got my cost to the client so far counter, my 20% counter, my 60% and my 100%. Now, obviously, the student isn't 20% of the way through the case on every single node. So I need to turn all of these off. And then go through and decide which node represents sort of 20% of the case completed. Now that could be 20% of the questions answered because not every node would have a question on, or it could literally be 20% through, for example, my 10 slides. So sometimes I find it helpful to go onto the visual editor and to count and um, work out what fraction um, of the case would be completed in 20% and then click then. Um, but in this instance, I'm just going to um, try and remember off the top of my head. So I'm going to have my progression of case as 20%. I'm going to have um, my outcome of the case as um, 60%. And then I'm going to have my end in feedback as 100%. Okay, and this is just an ex as an example. Then click Save Changes. And then if you want to see how that looks, I will play the case. So here we are back on the introduction slide. If I go to progression of case, um, this is what the counter will look like. OK, so the student now knows they're 20 percent of the way through. If we keep going, I'll show you what the others look like. Outcome of case, they're now 60 percent of the way through. And it's also still showing my cost to the client so far. So that's how an image counter works.